Good morning, y'all. Good morning. We are at the McKinley Chalet Resort here, right outside the entrance to Denali National Park. And this is our second full day here on the resort. We've been here for two nights so far. We've got one more night tonight, and then tomorrow we board a bus to go back to Anchorage. <clears throat> Ooh, that was a mouthful. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. So this resort is a really large property. This morning we started out down in Denali Square at Karsten's for their buffet breakfast. They had a really good uh, spread there for us with pancakes and biscuits and gravy, sausage, eggs. A little something uh, for everyone. A little something for everybody. Yeah. There's... A little something for everyone. There's fresh fruit, it's kind of loud here. oatmeal, <laughs> uh, pastries, oh all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Uh, plus coffee, tea, juice, all the things that you'd expect. Now Denali Square is kind of the, uh, the social hub here on the resort property. Uh, they've got Carson's Restaurant, they have several gift shops. Music uh, of Denali. Music of Denali Show, which we did our first night here. And we really haven't had a chance to explore the property because we got here late the first night. We went straight to a show, then straight to our room. Yesterday morning we got up, we did our wilderness tour through Denali and then we spent the rest of the afternoon in the park. Came back last night, had dinner at Canyon Steakhouse right over here uh, at the main lodge. Which was very and good. Then we went back to our room. Uh, yeah, they're a little bit pricey over there at the steakhouse, but so it goes, you know. Uh, we, we've had several $200 meals on this trip. <laughs> 200 plus dollar meals on this trip. For two people. Uh, for two people, yeah. So, kind of expensive. Uh, anyway, so the main lodge is uh, where they have several of the, of the uh, guest buildings, A through G or something like that, or L, and they also have the laundry here. Yeah, but it's also one of the, like a meeting place. So this is where you would get your, your coaches and your buses and your shuttles and stuff like that. Right, so, so our tour yesterday morning, uh, provided by the National Parks, uh, picked us up in a bus right out front here. That one right there? Yep, that bus right over there. And here comes the shuttle and bus. And here comes a shuttle bus that, takes, that goes around the, uh, the resort and drops people off at their different cabins. Uh, it will also go to the, the Princess resort. resort, which is next door. Yep, it'll also go, go down the street to the Princess Resort. Uh, and you can also catch the National Park's green buses that will take you to the visitor center mm -hmm. in the park. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of uh, events that are free there. There are a lot of hikes. Uh, you can also buy a bus pass for those green buses that will take you through the park and drop you off wherever you want to be dropped off. And as long as you're on the road, you can flag down another one of the green buses to come back to uh, the visitor center. Since we had, haven't had a chance yet to really go around uh, the chalet resort here, that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna take you around, show you the main lodge, and show you some of the other buildings around. Uh, and there's a surprise this afternoon that I'm gonna make oh you wait boy. for. I'm so excited. This is what I thought we were gonna do on a different day, and we did, so. Yeah. Well, I've set an alarm just to make sure that I don't miss it. Yeah. So, we're going to be doing that today. Don't skip forward. Don't miss anything because this is going to be at, as deep of a dive as we can get here at the resort. Uh, before we came, we looked and we really didn't see a whole lot of detail mm -hmm. about uh, the lodge. And it's not the easiest place to get around. If, right. you, if you're walking, I'll put it that way. So we're going to give you the information that we hoped that we had or wish that we had yeah. um, when we got here or while we were researching. Right. I had a heck of a time the first night finding our building. I was trying to drop off our <laughs> bags while Laurie was holding our table at the dinner show and I got lost in an employee area <laughs> and... He tried to take the shortcut and yeah, take the road. Yeah, I tried to take a shortcut and couldn't figure out where I was so I went back and kept our bags with us. But we're gonna take you around, show you as much as we can, so that when you get here, you'll have a better idea of where to go and how to get where you wanna be. And just really quick, the shuttle drivers, they're very knowledgeable as well about the area that they're driving and they do give information and history yep. um, if, you're, if you're willing to listen or willing to ask. That's right. 
And just a quick note about the, uh, the lodge buildings themselves. You've got A through Z, which are smaller buildings uh, mm -hmm. spread throughout the property. And then you have a couple of larger buildings. There's what, the canyon, and another one. Something We're going to go through those today yeah, and we'll show you it. what we can see. Some of them are newer, some of them are a little bit older. And some of them are older but look newer. Yeah. <laughs> we found out today. We found that out today. Uh, the yeah. building that we're in, we're in building Y, uh, room 203. Mm -hmm. 203. Um, at least our room, and we know the room Just next needs door to us needs some TLC. It's a little bit older. And the wallpaper's peeling off the walls. There are cracked wall plates that they've taped over with packing tape, so uh, it could use some TLC. I think some of the other buildings are a little bit newer. They're probably a little more expensive. Right. And, we don't uh, know for sure. Nicer. We'll, we'll try sure. to find out yeah. what we can for you. But we're going to try to find out what we can, show you how you can walk yeah. around the property, and of course also the uh, the shuttle buses. And our room was booked for us too. Yeah. We did not book our room, it was booked as part of the package. Uh, we were not offered an option to upgrade or change right. what we room we that we stayed know. in. We didn't really know much at all about this resort. And as much as I tried to research before we got here, I still didn't know much. Uh, you can't really see even from satellite maps or uh, maps of the property or anything else to get a grasp of the elevation changes that you have here. Mm -hmm. You know, I, we did see a video about the, the, the grand stairs, staircase, which, we'll show which you. is behind the main lodge here. We'll show you that in a little bit. There's, there's also a lot of other things to see. Just across the street here, there's a, a section of shops and restaurants. Uh, we've been told some of those have really good food. And, and the greatest uh, margaritas around. And the so greatest we'll margaritas checking that around, out. yep. See if so that's really true. I'll have to check that out. And it's never a bad idea to get off the resort and get more reasonable prices <laughs> on food, drinks, well, whatever. Well, we think you need. so. We'll go next door and find out. Yeah, we'll or find across out. Across the street. <laughs> All right, let's and go. And you can't get a shuttle across the street. You do have to walk across the street. One other quick tip for you in Alaska. I don't know if you can see this behind me. This buzzing cloud of insects. They're not there uh, now. You wouldn't think that that would be a thing here in Alaska. You, you hear about, oh, the, you know, mosquitoes are the, the second official uh, bird of Alaska. You, where I'm from, if it's 40, 50 degrees, there aren't any mosquitoes out. But here, the bugs are out all the time. So even at 50 degrees, you've got mosquitoes swarming around you. Bug spray is definitely a good idea. Although we haven't used any, and I'm not yeah. bit up. We haven't used any yet. Uh, Tell them what these are. Didn't bring any with us. Uh, you want to talk about the, the coffee cups? These are to go yeah. beverages. To go so beverages. Well, this and one's yours, right? It's coffee, coffee and tea. They're cardboard. Yes. Um, so they're part of the uh, less waste, Sustain I guess. Alaska and Yukon Initiative. Okay. Yeah, that says it right there. They work. Yeah. Not bad. No plastic lids. Yeah. That's cool. Yardsy. Yardsy. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> two threes, two fives. Let's see if I can get the whole house. Oh, I missed. Are you up for some Jenga? So this is really interesting. The Nanana River, which is right here in front of us, or below us, joins up with the T Tanana River, which is 60 miles downstream. Both of those rivers, or waterways, uh, are part of the Yukon River watershed that uh, ultimately empties into the Bering Sea. Thought that was kind of cool. And even more than that, the Yukon River drainage encompasses the area larger than the state of Texas. Yeah, the, uh, one of the tour guides yesterday told us that uh, if you took, with oh, Alaska yeah. as the, the largest state in uh, the United States, 
Um, Texas is the largest state in the, in the lower, lower 48, 48, but if you took Alaska, cut it in half, Texas would be the third largest state. <laughs> Sorry for all you Texans out there, including my daughter and son-in-law. <laughs> and I will say that the, the, the gentleman that told us about it first asked if there were any Texans on the shuttle. Yeah. <laughs> and when everybody said no, he's like, okay, I can speak freely then. <laughs> All right, we're right behind the Grand Lodge uh, at an observation point here. And you can look out over the rest of the property, which as you can see, is probably a couple of hundred feet below us down closer to the river level. And you gotta take the Grand Staircase to get down there, or you can take one of the park shuttles or the uh, resort shuttles that you can see down there in the distance. Uh, traversing the one-way road around the resort. But it is a very large area. It's hard to tell exactly how big it is from uh, any of the maps or aerial shots that you can find. All right, guys, I've got a question for our viewers out there. You see these uh, indentations, the, the score marks on this wood? This is something that we have noticed since arriving in Alaska down at Skagway. It seemed like all of the wood products have these type of markings on them. I've never seen that uh, where we're from in North Carolina or anywhere in the Southeast that I've lived. So it seems to be something unique to, uh, to Alaska or at least to Northern Climes. I'm not entirely sure. If you know what those are for or if they serve any purpose, uh, let us know in the comments down below because I have yet to find an answer to that question, but it seems to be common on all manufactured lumber uh, that we have seen here in Alaska. So one thing that we didn't mention earlier was that the uh, Ninana River there marks the eastern boundary of Denali National Park. So on the other side of the river there is the park. On this side is a uh, non-park land. Old Cottonwood. So we're in Cottonwood building Y. It's called Cottonwood. Oh. I don't know if that's what Cottonwood looks like where yeah, we're from. It's kind of weird feeling. But <laughs> Feel it. So there's the grand staircase. 74 steps from top to bottom, not too bad. Not terribly steep. Got anything to say about it? Um, yeah, it had, it had grip. It was, so the stairs were like steel. Oh, yeah. And had little grippies on them, so that was kind of cool. I'm sure they kind of have to have that considering. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that is covered in ice and snow. Uh, yeah. Even as late as a month ago, I think they had some pretty significant snow here. So, uh, yep, we're going to continue walking down the, uh, the pathway here and take a look at some of the other lodge buildings and show you what there is. I can't keep the hair out of the face, it's windy. <laughs> This is Riverside Loop. You've got the Cottonwood building plus U, V, and W. Because we're Cottonwood too, but we're Cottonwood Y. Overlooks 
nice. Yeah. I like it. Much li nicer than the building we're staying in. It has well, nothing. Not, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't even know if it has anything. The yeah. chairs, this is comfortable chair. Yeah. Look yeah. at that. Oh. I mean, we've got one chair in our room, and, and that's it. It weighs 100 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Bus drivers told us that these cabins are called the sourdough cabins. They were the original structures on the property, uh, originally built as dry cabins, so they had no running water inside. Uh, they used to have guests staying in them. Now they have upgraded them to wet cabins, so they do have toilet facilities and running water, and they're used by management on the property. You know, I said to you the other day, I think, were we on the train? I can't remember, we've had so many <laughs> modes of transportation, <laughs> it's blurring together, that this trip has surpassed uh, and become my favorite trip. Yeah. And you were surprised to hear that. Yeah, because I mean, you've been to Europe, you've been to Italy, Italy you've Paris. been to Paris. And of course uh, the Caribbean quite a bit. Caribbean, we went to England for our yeah. honeymoon. Yeah. And so that's it's quite a few trips, plus the trips to the Caribbean. And uh, yet you said this was uh, your favorite trip so far. And yeah. We've heard that a lot from uh, other people that cruise a lot, is that Alaska cruises are their favorite cruises. Right, and that lady and that we met uh, while we were eating those Alaskan king crabs said that they come every year. Yeah. They've been coming every year for 19 years. Yes, 19 coming to Alaska years. for 19 years. And they always went to Tracy's Crab Shack there in, uh, what was that, Juneau, right? Yep. 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 And I had one of my friends m messaged on Facebook and said, I need to try the dun Dungeness. Dungeness Crab? Yes. Yeah. So. At uh, Tracy's? Just, or I think, in general. Somewhere. Yeah. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I've yeah. never had that. Before. And uh, I mean, there's just, there's so much to see, so many places to go. Um, there's so many ports in Alaska. You know, we saw uh, Ketchikan, Juneau, Skagway, and then we saw Glacier Bay and College Fjord on the cruise. But there are other uh, ports out there. That we you haven't know. even been to. There's, um, there's Sitka, there's Icy, Icy Strait, Strait Point, yeah. um, there's other glacier bays that you can go to other than Glacier Bay National Park. Mm -hmm. uh, because Glacier Bay National Park is limited to uh, certain uh, a certain number of ships per day right and Holland America and Princess are grandfathered in uh, Norwegian also goes in there some I don't know about the other cruise lines but uh, it's it's more limited but there are other uh, glacier uh, bays that that they go into or fjords that, uh, that these ships go into so, so that people can see glaciers up close so tell me how does this rank with uh, all the places that you've been to? I'd say it's got to be up there, if not the best that we've ever done. <gasps> More than St. Yeah. Martin? Um, I mean, you've well, been hooked on St. Martin. I love St. Martin. Since 2008. Um, but St. Martin, to some extent, is kind of monotone. It's, it's kind of going to be the same kind of thing that you see on uh, some other Caribbean islands. I mean, all the islands are a little bit different, and there's a little bit of different culture and things to do there. Um, Alaska, there's just, there are so many different things. We've done the Lumberjack Show. Uh, we wanted to do whale watching, but it, was uh, but it was canceled. So we just went and did the Mendenhall Glacier on our own. Uh, we did the White Pass Railroad. To the Yukon. To the Yukon. And gold then we mining. did gold, gold mining, panning. gold panning, and, and, uh, and the barbecue lunch. lunch. So that was the, uh, the excursion that we took there, and then we did the photography tour as well. That just barely scratches the surface of things that are available, oh, especially yeah. when you talk about some of the, the flight seeing trips. Oh. Um, you know, even here so, in Denali, you could take uh, a plane and go land on the, the glacier that's in between the two peaks on Denali uh, to, the, to base camp where all the climbers 
leap from. You can do sled dog sledding across glaciers. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take other flights that land on glaciers. So there, there's so many different things that you can do. You know, you can actually go into the Yukon and pan for gold in the Yukon. So, so you said it's up there. So it, what, what competes with? I haven't really thought about it in those terms. Uh, Why not? Well, you put me on camera, put me on the spot. And <laughs> oh, that's right. You need time to think about I, stuff. I, I need to, to process and, and oh, mentally need... evaluate. But I love the sun and not so much a beaches person uh, to some extent. I like exploring. I like history. And that's probably one of the things that uh, on this trip has meant the most to me was learning some of the history of uh, you know, the Yukon Gold Rush of Skagway and Juneau, Ketchikan, Denali, Denali uh, so many different uh, historical want to come down uh, to stories. So, yeah. Well, if this is not your favorite, then what is your favorite? You said St. Martin. St. Martin. Saint you said St. Martin is uh, Mamatone. Well, so. In the Caribbean, St. Martin's definitely my favorite. Um, <laughs> well, it's well, like, I mean, there, it's like anything else. It, it depends on on what you're interested in, where you're at at that moment in time. It's like, what's your favorite cruise ship? It, it, it really comes down to, to that same type of question. What's your favorite cruise ship? Do you want a cruise ship where it's it's all party, party, nightclub atmosphere all the time, a lot of drinking and partying, or do you want one where You've got the family, the kids, the grandkids with you, and they're having fun, and you're all hanging out together and having family time. Or do you want something more relaxed, more refined, uh, where you have an older demographic? It's a different smells. I got different smells. Oh, what is it? Do you smell the kitty? I know. You look at you. Oh my God! You are such a big girl. Oh, you're so young. Oh, you're so I don't bite. <laughs> no, I don't bite on my face. Oh, the earrings. You want those? The shiny things. No biting. What are you doing? Where's your chewies? I, I know, bite your own foot. Yeah. Yeah, you try it there. There you go, eat that. 
She's like, no, I don't want to. Oh, oh. 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 You're not letting me bite you. Sorry, I don't, I don't have what you're looking for. I don't think. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, there's nothing here. Hey guys. Good morning. We are here at McKinley Chalet Resort outside of Denali National Park. We got here a couple of nights ago, but we got here late. Yeah. And uh, we went straight to a dinner show uh, off of our bus. Good morning. Good morning from <laughs> McKinley Chalet Resort here yeah. outside of Denali National Park. This is our uh, third attempt. No, third, just... third, fourth <laughs> attempt at doing this. Uh, <laughs> we have been here for two nights. We've got one more night to go. This is our last full day here at uh, McK uh, Denali National Park, McKinley chalet resort it's a mouthful a mouthful for sure all right mckinley chalet resort take 15. <laughs> <laughs> good morning y'all good morning there's other glacier bays that you can go to other than glacier bay national park mm -hmm. uh, because glacier by glacier bay national park is limited to uh certain uh, a certain number of ships per day. Right. 